we're not going back to the same economy. We're going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers. In Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance, agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign of what's going to happen to these other workers moving forward. And I talk Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the war really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand everything is planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New Road Order book. Remember, the books are mandatory. Also, those who donate to the Cash Shop, Patreon, much love. And then also, those who are shopping at both stores, much love to you. Now, guys, what do we have going on today? We have that's right, Jerome is in the house. And those who follow me know the markets are normally up when Jerome is in the house. But guys, we know back is here. We had the worst jobs report and stock market still goes up. That's right, because Jerome is in the house. Guys, we know the Fed is manipulating the stock market and cryptos. Do not forget about that. And then plus, guys, we just had Grayscale open back up. We know Grayscale is holding so much Bitcoin, they, they can definitely manipulate the price. So, guys, we have a lot of manipulation going on in the actual market. That's why we have to make sure we're looking at all elements before we're actually making an investment. Now, of course, guys, when we're dealing with cryptos, we know we're volatile. We're going to have volatile drops. We're going to have volatile increases. But the fact is, guys, if you're a trader, you want volatility. When it comes to actual Bitcoin, me personally, of course, I don't trade it. I either I'm going to hold it. I'm going to sell it. Of course, I was in sell mode for the past two months. But right now, I'm just hodling Bitcoin. But the other cryptos, guys, you find the cheapest crypto you can find that has utility and you trade it. You want these big swings. That's how you make your money, guys. Those who have been following me know this. This is what we want. Because, guys, we know when we go up, we know what? That's right. We're going to be going back down. We still don't have any real use cases. I'm going to get into some big news that happened yesterday. I went over it on my stock channel. But the fact is, guys, there's still no real use case. The masses are still not using it. Right now, it's all about trading speculation. That's it. Do not forget to pay attention to the actual indicators. We have volume, USDC, and Tether. Guys, we have the situation going on with XRP. We're going to be looking at that for the next few days. That may be a great, great bond opportunity because we know Ripple XRP is not going anywhere. Now, XRP, XLM, and Cardano has been around the same price, which is very, very interesting. And guys, we know all of this is ran off just an algorithm. Now, even though we have back guys, we have the actual retail investors actually coming on the weekend. But what did we have in the UK? Remember... The FCA warned against Bitcoin, and they're banning derivatives for the actual retail investors. So we're going to have less trading on the weekends. But what came out interesting, guys, is we have the Israeli eToro warns users that this weekend the buy orders are going to be limited, which is very, very odd and very, very interesting because that makes no sense whatsoever. We also have Polkadot DeFi on fire. And is right on the heels of XRP, guys. So we have the XRP situation going on. They may just take that fourth spot. Now, basically, we also have Fireblocks launches staking services for Ethereum 2.0, Polkadot, and Tezos. Plus, we have the German group issues a $24 million bond using Stellar's blockchain. And guys, as we see, XLM has risen just like the Phoenix, guys. We definitely see it. 
And all of these cryptos have something to do with what? Some type of space, their logos, all of it. Now, we also have Ethereum Layer 2.0 Solutions, Lever J, Synthetics, and Loop Ring. Now, guys, we definitely need those Layer 2 solutions to help what? With congestion. Of course, that's going to help with the gas prices, the fees. And also, guys, we definitely need Ethereum to scale because once we get all these derivative swaps on it, Skies are the limit. Guys, do not forget to check out Ameribor. If you have not checked that video out, please check it out. It's very, very important because the fact is that basically the CFTC has already said Ethereum is the internet. And if you do your research deep down, you find all the central banks are surrounded by Ethereum. And guys, that is for a reason. Now, we have Pintura Capital CEO doubles down on 115,000 Bitcoin prediction for 2021. Now, do I agree with that? No, I do not. Basically, I do not see Bitcoin at 115,000 because basically, guys, we do not have real use cases yet. Also, regulation is going to come in. Plus, we have the Democrats in office. And guys, we know Democrats and Republicans play what? The Hegelian dialectic. While they move the New World Order's agenda forward. So we know all the things that they pushed last second for crypto. Brian Brooks. We know that Democrats are going to act like they're going to do the opposite. That's the whole point. Remember the narrative that Democrats give is that they're for the people. Republicans' narrative give is that they're for Wall Street. But we know they're all pushing the New World Order's plan. So never forget that. Now, guys, the big news that we had is that we have Anchorage granted U.S. first national crypto bank charter. Now, guys, also we see Brian Brooks do what? Push this through. This is for fintech. This is unsecured deposit. Something that you don't want for the people, but that's what you want for the big banks, guys. That's what it's for. Everything that Brian Books push is for the central banks. Remember that, guys. You have to look at the agenda. Fintech is wonderful, but not if my money is not secured. Right now, money is not secure. We don't have any custody. The big banks have it, but the people don't. Now, in my Patreon, I put a list of the actual assets that Anchorage are going to be supporting. Please look that list up, guys. It's similar to... Uh, Coinbase, because we know Andreessen is behind both. Never forget that, guys. He's behind both. Don't get it twisted. So they're not going to have a lot of the cryptos that we still know that are going to make it. So do not get confused. But these cryptos are what part of a plan. We know Coinbase have it part of an economy. But remember, guys, it's based on the U.S. economy. And that's not always a great thing because we know we're going to be taking a back step. Remember, guys, the rise of the actual dragon. Remember, China is 10 years ahead of us when it comes to the fourth industrial revolution. And lastly, guys, I'm going to touch something very, very important. I know they're not going to let me do a video, full video on it because they're going to flag it. Remember, guys, nothing on TV is real anymore. We have Biden, who's not even president yet, is going to be unveiling like a $2 trillion stimulus plan. They couldn't wait till after the 20th, guys. Remember, everything they allow you to see is for an actual distraction. And that's what I'm going to get into really quick. We're going to have over 20,000 troops in D.C., guys. The fact is, that's a military state. I need for you to open your eyes. This visual is set up for the people to see. Remember, the New World Order shows you what they want you to see. They tell you what they want you to hear. So guys, I just want to make sure you understand that we're moving into a direction that nobody wants to move in. Please educate your friends and family. It's very important. I feel like if the C word did not wake you up a little bit, something is definitely wrong. But we definitely need each other. Remember, the power is in the people. And in my book, I tell you who's really under attack. I'm not going to get into it because they're going to flag my video. But if you have my book, I tell you who's the real, the real person under attack. And you saw that at the Capitol. You saw it. 
So guys, they can easily change the image really quick on you, really fast. And we see that happening. So if a certain group doesn't wake up, they're going to end up like the other group. Don't forget about the Hegelian dialectic, guys. Now, the other is all I have for you. Don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book. Also, if you're new to cryptos, Coinbase, BitChute, Binance, the links are in the description. Also, guys, the stock channel. Do not forget about the stock channel, guys. So much money to be made. Don't forget stocks are not going anywhere. It is going to be tokenized and put on blockchain. So you have your Cobalt, your chip stocks, your banking, your gaming, everybody's sitting at home. Don't forget about that home stocks. The C word, the biotech stocks. And then also where everybody's at home getting free money and waiting on that free money, what are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks. You have a wonderful day.